I hope he friends. This is Josh of Glitter and Sunday. And today, we're going to take a look at the second place deck from the Melbourne SPE event that happened last weekend. Uh, it is a Dustman Necrozma deck. So we're going to do a real quick deck tech. Play a couple of matches. We're going to be done for the day. I will preface this by saying that I am not a huge fan of this deck. The deck makes me feel real dumb sometimes. Which is um, not the way a deck should make someone play it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and dive into the deck. We've got our three Tapu Leles. Wonder Tag, of course, lets you go get Cynthia, Fisherman, Guzma, Judge, Lily, or Steven's Resolve, which is the supporter you will be playing on turn one. You go get three cards. The ones you need, typically, I get a rare candy, I'm out for that, and uh, whatever line I'm missing from the Magnemite Magazine evolu evolution. And try to get that online on turn two. If they have a Judge or a Marshadow, you're kind of bummed about that, but if you're both going to four, chances are your opponent is really going to hurt themselves as well. So going to four is not that big of a big of a deal because you've got your Lele's and you've got your draw, and of course your opponent has the same thing. You won't be Neither of you should be set back too much. So we've got our Leleys. We've got three of those. We've got a 3-3 three, three split between Magnemites and Magnazone with the Magnetic Circuit ability. Uh, you can put a Metal Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon as often as you'd like during your turn with that ability. And with that, you're going to be powering up your Dustmane to Prozma. Claw Slash is a three colorless attack, deal 60. Meteor Tempest, though, three metal and a colorless, you're dealing 220. Uh, you have to discard three energy from this Pokemon. However, with Mount Parnet and the next line I go over, that's really not a backbreaking thing with Magnus out in play. The Sun's Eclipse. 250 damage for a GX attack. You can only do it if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponents. But it is a huge equalizer. The next line is a, Q, is, is a two, two each line of Cutie Fly and Rebombi. Now notice Cutie Fly is a tree cost. It's free. That's pretty important sometimes. Honey Gather lets you get two basic energy cards and put them into your hand from your deck. Pretty stout. Last Pokemon of the deck is Stack Attacka. The Ultra Roll ability is why uh, I believe my name is Shane Quinn. Let me just make sure there. I had this pulled up. Yeah, Shane Quinn played the deck. Uh, he told PTCGStats.com uh, some pretty important things about how he played the deck. Uh, and I'll go ahead and just quote them here since I've got the page open. Uh, Rubombi is straight fire and wins so many games. Cutie Fly having free retreat is also amazing. Stack Attacker was mainly to put. Dustman to Prisma's HP outside Metagross's range with Choice Band. However, it is also however it also has a mid-range attack that doesn't discard energy. And one hit knockout, Scarbador. So that's why Stack Attack is there. Mount Coronet is so important to the stack. Uh, you can get two energy guards from your discard pile and put it back into your hand. 
So you're basically recycling the energy from Meteor Tempest each turn and just recharging your, your Dust Rain with Rebombi and Magnezone. Uh, we've got Tid Metal and 1 Beast Energy. I went over the supporters. I, they're there, they're card they're all, you know what they do. Use my switches, Fisherman gets more energy back. Ultra Ball Searches, Nest Ball gets your lines out. You really want to start with a Cutie Fly and a Magnemite in play so you can power out your evolutions. Energy Retrieval brings them back. Anyways, it's, 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 a, it's a turbo attack deck, I guess. Like, you're, you're looking to charge your, your Pokemon to do these ridiculous amounts of damage. But it never really works out that way for me. And I don't know if it's because I just have bad draws or whatever. Alright. We're just going to jump into some gameplay here. I lost the, the coin flip, so they are going to decide who goes first. It is not me. I have no Pokemons in my opener. Well, I do have Pokemons, but I don't have basics, so... I'll be tossing back to my mulligan. I had to take two mulligans. That's cool. They are on Dawn Wings for Charisma. We've got a resistance to Psychic on both of our guys. And they put a double colorless on? I don't really get that. Ultra Ball for the Magnemites. So I want to get set up for our later turns as best as possible. And there's a very good chance that next turn we just straight Steven's Resolve for the two evolution pieces we need and a Mount Cornet. Yeah, just gonna Steven. That's. Got Lily in hand, so I think the way to get him out of line is fine. We don't have any energy in the discard pile, which is just okay. Alright, let's get a copy. Let's gather some honey. Magnetic circuit. Power up our dork here. We're going to use one. Bring up their Ultra Beast to charge up. 
And I don't want to run the Mount Coronet out there just right yet, because I don't want to give them a turn to uh, field blow it away. But we would have been set up next turn to go ahead and charge it up again anyways, if they didn't disrupt me. I like looking at other people's list. It's a nice way to get some inspiration, I guess. I don't know the answers to any of those questions. Because I am terrible. I am a 38-year-old man with two jobs and an 11-year-old son who has a lot of extra income. So, pack prices, what cards convert to, I don't really pay attention to. I think could be a decent deck. Uh, I'm not. Let me look them up since I'm in the middle of the game. Yes, I would love to draw a card. Zygarde. We just fire. We just fire. I think we're going to nest ball for dust mine and worry about getting that charge. So a nest ball, play the energy, resolve, get the lines that we need finished. And pass the turn. That's the end share. Cutie fly was a good draw. I don't think I have anything. Yeah. Alright, so we'll get Magnazone. Bombay Mount. Since we've got Cynthia and our rare candy already.
eight cards in here. That is not a small number at all. Who's mine? Are you going to take out my, my cutie fly? No, you're not. That's even worse. Did take out my cutie fly. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and. We don't have a lot of action going on here. I kind of want to Guzma and get my Magnezone out of the way. Why did I do that? So I'm just going to lose that cutie fly to another jet punch. That was not my best, uh, best mess ball. win the first day. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Alright. Ultra Ball. Pitch these two. We're going to go get a Magnemite. Just playing a set out. Now we just need to get him active. I don't want to sacrifice that Magnus on to get him active. Basically, going to need to find two energy to throw on them, to retreat them, bring the crows back out, or I can start battling things. Let's 
assuming that's probably two energy cries. I don't I don't like our chances of binding the two off of the Cynthia. So maybe he'll just do me a favor and kill this Magnuson now. I don't think I'd be heartbroken over that. It's a Guzma off Kakulele. I need to lele for a boost of my own. Sun's Eclipse. That way I don't have to set up again next turn. That makes any sense. Let's go ahead and take the two, keep my energy. Sledgehammer me. Which seems fine. I hope that's not what they're doing. Treat. We got our dust plane again. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
assuming this guy is going to die. Have used my GX attack there. Oh wait, I don't think I had the, the energy to do it. Alright, so Magnemites. I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard our two lilies. Just my Fisherman, four. Charge up our dust mine. Meteor Tempest is our card. Cool, 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 cool. I definitely thought after losing my cutie pie line that I was not going to be long for the world there. Alright, I've spent about 30 minutes with y'all here today. I uh, appreciate you taking the time out of your Wednesday to come watch me. Uh, I may not have played the deck as well as I could have, and I did warm up to it a little bit more over the course of this stream. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to cut off for today. Make sure to follow us if you want to get notifications whenever we're streaming. And check out the website. I'll have some content going up there shortly. You can check out old video game reviews and lists on what I think is cool and lists on what Cassius thinks is cool, etc., etc. Anyways. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I'm Joshua for Crater and Sun Gaming. I'll see you next time.